Good morning, beloved in Christ. May the peace of the Lord shine upon you and your family on this new day. How many times have you started the week with a heavy heart, wondering how to overcome the battles, face the struggles, and still keep your faith strong? But know this, today is not just any day. This prayer is not just about starting the week. It's a prayer to transform, to renew, to open doors, and bring the victories we so deeply seek. God has promises for you, and His grace may be closer than you realize. Believe me, there is no battle faith cannot overcome, no challenge that the Lord cannot conquer in our lives. Today, let's pray together, strengthen our faith, and through Christ our Lord, call upon the blessings He has already set aside for us. I'm David Wells, and this is The Prayer, where we come together to strengthen our faith and surrender to God's will. Let us move forward with confidence and hope, for we know that the Lord walks beside us. Today, dear brothers and sisters, I invite each of you to actively participate in this moment of faith. Write in the comments. I am more than a conqueror in Christ our Savior. Let this be a powerful declaration of our confidence in God and our unshakable faith in His promises. Through Christ our Lord, let us declare together that we are more than conquerors, that our faith sustains and guides us. Share this prayer with someone who needs this blessing, who needs a reminder that the Lord stands beside us, protecting and strengthening us. In doing so, you'll be spreading God's grace into others' lives, helping to share the Father's love and protection with everyone around us. Our beloved and faithful God, we exalt and glorify you, for we know your presence is like a cloak of protection over us. Hallowed be your name in our lives, in every word we speak, in every step we take. Today, in your presence, Lord, we stand with open hearts, filled with trust, offering our dreams, our burdens, and every area of our lives that needs your intervention. May your mighty hand be upon us, bringing peace, hope, and renewal. Through Christ our Lord, we want to thank you for all the graces you have already given us and those yet to come, for we know that in you we are more than conquerors. We ask that the Holy Spirit come upon each of us, filling our minds and hearts with your peace, a peace that surpasses all understanding. Let your grace flow over us like a serene river, filling us with serenity and wisdom to face every situation in our lives with courage and faith. Father, look upon each family represented here. May you bless every home, every member of this faith community gathered here to pray, seeking refuge and strength in you. May your presence be a fortress around our homes, warding off all evil, any spirit of division, every illness, every fear. We ask, Lord, that you bless our physical, emotional and spiritual health. Heal us, Lord, from the pains we carry, from the hurts that hold us, from the anguish that torments us. Grant us liberation, Father, for we know that in you we find true relief. Lord, we intercede for the financial well-being of each of your children. May you be our provider, the one who meets all our needs, who multiplies resources in our homes and blesses the fruit of our labor. Open job opportunities for those who are without work, Multiply the businesses of those striving to prosper and pour blessings upon every honest effort. May we experience, Father, your abundance and may we never lack bread on our tables. In every area of our lives, Lord, we ask for your protection. Keep us safe from visible and invisible dangers. May your angels surround us, guarding us from all harm. Father, keep us from traps, temptations and influences that seek to pull us away from you. May your light illuminate our paths so we may always walk according to your will, secure and embraced by your love. And Lord, in this special moment of prayer, we ask for the restoration of relationships that are hurting. Bless marriages, family ties and friendships. May your love be the bond that unites, forgives and heals. 
Grant us the gift of forgiveness so we may reconcile with those we love and move forward with hearts light and free from resentment. May the Holy Spirit renew each relationship, bringing harmony and peace to every home. Finally, dear Father, we ask that in this new week, you lead us through each challenge, through each dream we place in your hands. Let it be a week of victories, growth, peace, and abundance. Lord, bless every decision we make and grant us wisdom to follow your path, trusting that your provision is perfect and that in you we find everything we need. We praise you, Father, and thank you with all our hearts for hearing our prayers, for being with us, for giving us the gift of life, and for teaching us to live in love. Glorified be your name, hallowed be your name, forever and ever. And through Christ our Lord, we pray with gratitude and faith, certain that you are our God, our fortress, our ever-present help in times of trouble. Amen. Now, beloved brothers and sisters, let us strengthen ourselves in the word of God. The Lord has left us in Scripture an endless source of wisdom, comfort and promises so we may always find answers and support for our daily struggles. Let us begin with Psalm 23, which gives us the image of a caring shepherd, always attentive to the well-being of his sheep, showing us that we are never alone. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. What a comfort to know that the Lord is our shepherd. He cares for every detail of our lives, guiding us to quiet waters and green pastures, renewing our weary souls, and leading us in paths of righteousness. Even as we pass through dark moments, like the valley of the shadow of death, the Lord is by our side and His presence comforts us. He is the God who prepares a table of abundance, who anoints our head and makes our cup overflow. With Him, we are assured that goodness and mercy will follow us every day until we dwell in His presence eternally. Let us continue with Psalm 91, a song of trust and divine protection. This psalm is a reminder that when we make God our refuge, we are safe, for He shields us from all dangers. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. By dwelling in the secret place of the Most High, we find rest and peace, knowing that God Himself is our refuge and fortress. His protection is a shelter that covers us like a mother's wings, shielding her young. His truth becomes our shield, and in it we find trust, for He delivers us from all snares and traps. We need not fear the terror of the night or the dangers that draw near, for He places His angels around us. Though a thousand may fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand, the Lord assures us we will remain safe in His arms. To conclude, let's turn to Psalm 118 verses 28 and 29, which are an expression of gratitude and exaltation to the Lord. This psalm reminds us to celebrate and thank God for His eternal love and mercy. You are my God, and I will praise you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. 
Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Let these words resonate in our hearts. God is good, and His love for us never ends. He walks with us, supports us, and strengthens us. Therefore, we must always give thanks, exalt Him at all times, and acknowledge that He is the source of all blessings. May we keep this gratitude alive within us, knowing that the Lord is our God, and that with Him we are never alone. Carry these words in your heart and live this week with the certainty that the Lord is by your side, guiding, protecting, and blessing each one of us. Beloved in Christ, we've come to the end of this time of prayer, and my wish is that this week is truly blessed, filled with the peace, protection, and victories the Lord has already prepared for you and your family. May the presence of God fill your home, and with each step you take, May you feel His care in every detail of your life. If it's God's will, we'll be here again tomorrow for another moment of faith and communion. And if you want to keep this peace in your heart, watch the next video that's already on screen. It too will bring many blessings and strengthen your faith even more. May God bless you and your entire family. Amen.